121. It's a little lonely playing darts on your own. So, I've arranged to have a game with an England international. The only thing is, he's in Leeds. But with a computerised dartboard and a telephone, the game may still be on. Bobby George, Mr Glitter, are you there? Hello, Howard. Hi, where exactly are you? I'm in the BBC club in Leeds. Oh, I should think so too. And, and are you ready for this crunch game? I'm going to rip your arms off and it'll be the soggy pieces afterwards. Oh, so, I've, I've got you worried then. <laughs> Well, let's connect the uh, dartboard computers together via telephone and I'll select the game. Uh, 301 and uh, Bobby will go first and that sh he should be about on the hockey if we go back over to Leeds. There he is. Now, keep an eye on Bobby's board because you'll see his scores coming up on the top left there completely automatically. And <laughs> well, we saw his five. We saw his five come up. And now it's gone back down again because he's thrown over to me. Let me just uh, show you once again how that happens. These scores are coming up absolutely automatically. There's my 20, 21, and... Oh, I missed that time. OK, well, 21. What's happening here is that an electric field is uh, generated by the dartboard, which has been made conductive by coating the bristles with carbon. And when the dart lands in the board, it acts as an aerial and increases the signal being transmitted by that section. And those signals are picked up by the receiver aerial, which is actually the guard wire, and the sections giving the biggest increases in signals are the ones with the darts in them. So we can now see that, unfortunately, I didn't actually throw over to Bobby properly, so I've got 260 to get and Bobby's got uh, 296. Let's look at his, his uh, dartboard again and watch his score go up. 20. And if the dart falls out, the board won't register it. <laughs> but of course it didn't. All right, I'm going to throw in the towel there. Uh, he's going to beat me anyway and perhaps practice out of the, uh, the public glare by challenging the board itself to a game because it's also programmed to play with different skill levels. Bobby, are you there? Hello. OK, I give in. You win. What do you think of this system? Uh, it does everything but throw the dolls back to you. <laughs> have, you, got, have, you got, have you got any tips for me? I think you should take up knitting. Knitting. Thanks very much, Bobby. Actually, I think I'll stick to practising for the time being.